This is a podcast from the Angel News Network with author Joel Anastasi interviewing Ascended Master St. Germain as channeled by Philip Elton Collins. Greetings, beloved humans, being human upon the surface of the earth. We come to you at this time, the frequency of the conscious is known as St. Germain on this your new year, your 2023. Long, long ago, far, far away, and yet ever so near and present, the forces of creation set the intention to create a world based upon love, the building block of all there is. This new world would become a divine experiment that would require the participation of 12 star systems to bring their best qualities into creation. This new world called Earth would be a direct reflection of creation itself, dear ones. This reflection is still coming into focus today through a nation designed to have a government of the people by the people, for the people. This podcast is a reminder of the divine experiment serving creation through a nation called the United States of America. That the United States and the entire world would become a full expression of love, peace, equality, harmony and balance, in essence, reflections of creation itself. Needless to say, this is a work in progress which we shall further discuss at this time in the beginning of your year 2023. (laughs) Spiritual science 2023 equals the number seven, which represents physical and spiritual wholeness and perfection. Seven is the associate with the ascension of you and your planet, life free of 3D obstacles. This podcast is to affirm the manifestation of this to take place at this time. Progress and ascension are not always a straight line forward, but often in human terms swing back and forth. What has been in your Supreme, what has happened recently in your Supreme Court and in your now your Republican House of Representatives has revealed and will continue to reveal who these people are and what they can or cannot accomplish to support the common good. Over the past few years, there has been and appeared many dark forces to challenge the democratic foundation upon, upon which the United States nation was built. Your democracy is being tested in an unhealed, open form through malignant wounds and ego defenses of humanity itself. Your social media and your commercial media has allowed this to be played out in a public forum like never before, dear ones. The truth has been twisted by telling untruths. Often enough, some came to believe that they were true. But dear ones, the truth will always come out in the end. And your truth and your consciousness and your awakening of humanity is assured. But what most of humanity does not know, nor to believe there are unseen forces that created the seen aspects of creation. And these same higher realm forces are at play, assisting once again to support the original intention of the United States by integrating the original founding energy into the people at this time. All that is needed to be healed to advance higher frequencies of existence and are now coming to the surface. We call this the great cosmic colonic. This is a great test in the history of a nation that promised love, equality, harmony, and balance to itself and the world, dear ones. Transmute the darkness and restore the original mission requires a great awakening of the people by healing the relationship with self, self being a reflection of all that there is. At present, people are manifesting the wisdom needed to learn what they need to learn, how they need to learn it. Dear ones, If you so choose, allow 2023 to reveal the grandness of who you are, who you truly are, by moving into the highest resonance within yourselves. As you have been told many times before, democracy is not a spectator sport. It requires the participation of each and every citizen. The biggest failing in the functioning of your democracy has been the non-participation of your citizenry. Democracy and creation itself are incomplete without each of you, or you would not be here. Each and one of you matter, particularly in this dense matter of 3D. Remember, dear ones, the creation of the United States is a vehicle for collective weak consciousness through democracy, which reflects the sole plan of the planet and humanity to learn to master being loved, the building block of all there is. It is time to expand democracy through the intersection of all of your divinity. I shall repeat this. It is time to expand democracy through the intersection of all these divinity. The three essential aspects of this communication at this time is to remember, first, the refounding of America is to be a beacon of light for the world. 
second. The second coming of the soul of humanity to master love is in place. And lastly, your personal process through all of this matters. The real mission is your awakening in your macro-micro relationship to the awakening of the nation and the world, dear ones. Please remember all of creation is a vehicle for God expressing and experiencing itself so that it may know itself as God. What is necessary for God to know itself is for each part of God to know itself. This is what all of God's creations are doing, including humanity at this time on this planet Earth. Time is morphing into the present now moment where we in the higher realms reside through instant connection like this one. Are uniting humanity unlike any time in recorded history? Our connectedness will create a unified field of positive loving energy uniting most of the world's population. Mm. We're currently within a major clearing and cleansing of humanity where the people of the world will demand and create instant social media, legal, political, and economic changes do not, do not allow current events to create fear, doubt, or ignorance about what is taking place. All of this is being driven by the ascension process of your planet, which is bringing about a new spiritual awakening for humanity, dear ones. Each moment, each movement into a higher frequency of existence is building a united field of consciousness, uniting people of all faiths, races, sexes, and nationalities. Remember, dear ones, you are all diversified versions of one another from the same source. Remember, the evolution and progress of humanity has been inspired and guided by we of the higher realms. You are all served best by the ancient wisdom, love one another by first learning to love yourself. <clears throat> I have taught many times to govern is to know how to use your God-given energy for the highest good of all. Your present governments often reflect old-time religions attempting to control what they did not create. This is impossible. If you so choose at this time, create a parallel path of higher frequency and vibration reflecting love, peace, harmony, quality, and balance you wish to have in your lives. This may be a hard thing for some to do, but it is a smart thing to do because when we create a parallel path of higher vibrations, the lower vibrations are trained to the higher. This is how permanent change takes place, dear ones. Cosmic energy is continuing to be sent to you that will further open doors to other dimensions for humanity. This is called Heaven's Gate. A literal physics, physical physics event is taking place that shifts the electromagnetic field of the Earth that brings access to other realms such as Christ Consciousness, the I Am Presence, Grace, the Violet Plane. This has been taught by some of your greatest spiritual teachers such as Buddha, Jesus. They have all demonstrated by the urgent figures, by your recent figures, most recent figures such as Lincoln, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther Green. Now, you teacher souls can continue the teaching. With this brief introduction, let us now open to our questions, how may we further enlighten and brighten your pathway of being human, transmuting into the 5D world and beyond? Good morning, St. Germain, on this January 5th, 2023. What a magnificent introduction. Thank you so much for the spiritual context you just created for what's going on in our world today. That's what's essential, isn't it, dear ones? I don't understand uh, how we can possibly understand what's going on in our world without understanding the spiritual context you just gave us. You cannot, and you will not, without awakening to this wisdom and this truth. You discussed um, how the, the, the world of peace, love, equality, harmony, and balance cannot be created uh, without the participation of every every one of us um, and it occurs to me that so much of the conflict and chaos that we're experiencing in the world is the issue of inclusion versus exclusion um, how we tr attempt so often to exclude uh, those that we consider to be unworthy or undesirable of participating fully in our various cultures isn't that uh, the, the one of the core reasons why we have so much conflict and separation on earth 
Exactly. Not seeing those aspects of the others as yourself. Realizing that you are diversified versions of one another from the same source. And that different divine souls are at different mm -hmm. places and their soul mm -hmm. plans and their soul timelines. Do you understand? Yes, indeed. You know, I was, I was planning to discuss some of the political developments going on in our own country and internationally, such as the report of the January 6th committee and talk about the Ukraine war um, and, the, and, and the experience of, of, of COVID uh, that continues in our civilizations and the, the chaos is creating in China. But uh, they all lead back to the context you created in your introductory comments. Exactly. That is why we have begun with this preamble to begin the Q&A, because the preamble of this discussion are the tools needed to advance as a human species, to work in concert with the ascension process of the planet herself. Without this wisdom being applied, you are stalemated in your vernacular. You know, you, you reminded us that we are the creator creating uh, our reality all the time. And um, we, we had a, a wonderful reading uh, that the channel gave on December 22nd through Archangel uh, Uriel. And he ended it by telling us what we can do um, to empower ourselves and becoming more of who we are and expressing ourselves more fully as a creator. When he said, focus your emotions, thoughts, and affirmations into the highest possible version of yourself you can envision and allow that to be the person you create, which seems to me to be a statement of how we can become more of who we are and to fulfill our, our, our mission here on earth as an expression of the creator. And without that, you will remain stalemated. Can you talk a little bit of, uh, you're, you're telling us about all of the help we are getting uh, through the en energetic uh, energy, the, the high vibration energies that are coming into the earth plane. Um, that is a spiritual context, of course, of, of which uh, many people are, are ignorant of. Can you just kind of elaborate a little bit on the energetic support we are getting from the higher realms to um, fully, to, to more fully express ourselves as a creator creating? Yes. It requires remembering that the planet was seeded by 12 different star systems in its original creation to bring the very best intentions and consciences of those star worlds into this particular planet. And each one of them had a mission. And the preamble that we have discussed at the beginning of this communication reflects elements of each one of those 12 star systems and the desire to create a planet that is based upon love, the building block of all that there is, and that you are within the process of becoming love incarnate. Does that help you? Yes, and how, how, how did the formation of, of the United States of America uh, fit into that plan to become love, love incarnate? The 12 star systems looked at the history of the planet and the configurations of your governments and your religions, which was your first religions, and saw where they worked and where they didn't work, where they represented the common good and where they didn't, and in effect dictated some universal and cosmic laws that would free humanity from the past structures of government and religions that you have had, that would represent the common good through something called democracy. And it began in your early histories with the Greeks and then moved through other civilizations. But remembering that the founding fathers and the founding mothers of the United States of America received these transmissions often while they were sleeping and they were able to amalgamate these cosmic truths, these cosmic laws and principles which reflect other advanced civilizations and other worlds into this particular planet to expedite the soul plan of the planet. Does that help you? And the soul planet, uh, plan of the planet depended upon the participation of, of every expression of God. Exactly. And that expression is 
being and applying love, the highest frequency in creation. And, and a democracy would allow that expression of everybody uh, to, to, to be expressed. It would be, in your vernacular, your best effort, your best chance, yes, at this point within the evolution of humanity and the ascension process timeline of the planet, yes. So whenever we have conflict, almost always it involves the issue of excluding somebody. <laughs> it involves a reflection of the wounded relationship with self, which you have been taught for many years. Self being a reflection of all that it is. The relationship with self is how humanity has learned to master itself and connect with the love force of creation. You know, it's taken me a long time to understand how that issue of healing the wounded self is f f fundamental to all this and I have to keep reminding myself and I don't always explain it well to myself it, it explain how that process of healing the wounded self it, it is so critical in the, uh, the the whole process we're talking about here well first of all knowing what the self is the self is a reflection of all that there is within spiritual science so if you take the relationship of an individual or you take the relationships with the collections of collective humanity, then you begin to see where <clears throat> the truth of what self really is. So humanity has chosen through something called self, through the relationship of self, to really move through the evolutionary ascension process. Self being a reflection of all there is and how humanity has chosen <clears throat> to learn. In other worlds, there are other vehicles other than self, but on this particular planet, it is self. Does that help you? So if we're going to create a world of self, uh, of, of love, then we, we have to love ourselves first in order to love each other so that we can create this world of, self, of love. Exactly, accept the God force within you. Accept who you truly are. Accept why you're here within this <clears throat> ascension process yes how can we heal the accept the God force within us if we don't even seem to recognize and understand the role that that, that we are God and and the larger spiritual context you have just set up whenever you try to bring the issue of spirit into a discussion of any of these world events it's immediately dismissed as some sort of mythology you, dear, are very instrumental in the creation of something called Life Master through our beloved Archangel Michael. We would counsel others to begin with that and to look at the exercises within that. And also for humanity to ask itself, with what you have been working with, has it been successful? Has it achieved the common good goal? and be open to saying it hasn't, and we are open to something else. The major issue with humanity has been the disconnect from the higher realms from which you came. The major issues with humanity are the separation of your eternal spiritual beingness with your incarnated present life cycles at this time and not really fully understanding that you are an eternal spiritual being with many lifetimes on this particular planet and other planets to perpetuate the mission of learning to be and apply love. Does that help you? Well, it does, of course, and that, that disconnect from the higher realms is the fundamental um, state of being that is causing all of the, the chaos and conflict in the earth today. And your, what your so-called primitive civilizations have never lost that connection. And what you have deemed and labeled as primitive or backward are civilizations that never lost that connection. It would behoove, behoove humanity to look at some of these that have survived in spite of how they have been abused by others and see that they see the planet as a sacred conscious being, that they see that it belongs to all, 
that they see their connection to the higher realms from whence they came, they have not lost that wisdom in their mythology. It is so interesting looking at those so-called primitive societies that honor the earth and how we abuse the earth so much in our sophisticated modern um, cultures where we uh, d dig it up and burn it and pollute it and <laughs> destroy it. Exactly, but it is something that cannot be completely destroyed. It is an essence that will live for eternity. And humanity is in the process of waking up and awakening to that which you once knew as wisdom in the past. You have had many, many advanced civilizations, far more advanced than humanity is now, that through their connection of the higher realms created technologies that allowed great feats which are not possible now. And there are reminders of that all over the planet for those who wish to look and see the truth, dear one. Um, St. Germain, you, you've created such a rich spiritual context. I want to kind of bring it to take, to use it to take a look at what's going on around the world and just repeat something I said earlier. As I look at so much of the conflict, uh, whether it's political or whatever it is around the world, it is so often about the issue of power and uh, ex uh, including people in the power structure or excluding people from the power structure. I, I see that in our own politics in the United States and I see it between the conflicts with uh, Russia and the, the, the dictatorships of Russia and, and North Korea and China and so on. Uh, it, it all comes down to the issue of, of uh, whether or not a society is allowing the uh, equal inclusion of everyone or not. It comes down to the issue, dear one, of controlling or attempting to control what you did not create. Yes. That is the bottom line, isn't it? It is. Humanity did not create the planet. They did not totally create themselves. And yet you have, through the hubris and the ego, the wounded ego of humanity and some world leaders, thinking they have that right, or they have that power, and they do not. They never have, and they never will. So, Spirit has helped us create the idea of a democracy which allows the participation of everyone to participate in equally in their societies um, and to give them an opportunity to fully be who they are and through that process of being, of loving and fully be being who they are, they can create um, a uh, the, the earth, a planet that um, is indeed the, has the mission of love that, that we were created to have. So how can we, we, we pull all the, how can we pull together the context you've created to, to realize finally what our mission on earth is and our participation in that? To know that spirit, eternal spirit, has never abandoned humanity and never will that it is an unseen force within all of you that can be pulled upon and relied upon and depended upon. That you are a spiritual being having a human experience and that the essence that created you is a force called love, the highest frequency and vibration in creation. By reconnecting to that reality, by being and knowing you have never been alone, by being and knowing that you are diversified versions of one another from the same forward, same source, that you are each other in disguise, and that everyone and every circumstance that comes into your life is a part of your creation to learn what you need to learn, how you need to learn it, when you need to learn it. If you can awaken to this once again, you will love the world that you're going to create. And we're being given a new opportunity to do this as we uh, enter the first month of 2023 with the high vibration energies the higher realms are bringing into the earth, correct? Dear one, you're being given a chance every day, every moment, every minute of your lives. And that's our responsibility to take advantage of that opportunity. To receive it, to know it, and to apply it. 
St. Germain, I think you've said it all. Is there anything you would add to what you've already said to us? Know that this is the truth. Share it with others. As I ended our introduction, you are the teacher's souls now, going out into the world and assisting others to awaken through the cosmic and universal teachings you have to offer. Continue that with all your might, with all your glory, with all your love. Thank you, St. Germain. You're welcome.